How's it going, Eliminators? Today, you're gonna to be seeing clips of when I took my truck down to the dyno to see just how much power a 2018 to 2020 Ford F-150 with the third generation five liter V8 puts down to the wheels through the 10 speed transmission. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Right, guys so before we go over the dyno report here i just wanted to give a big shout out to my friend brad at niagara dyno service for letting me film so that i could post this video to the channel i don't have a digital copy of the dyno report to put on screen but he was kind enough to give me this paper copy which is laminated and i get to keep so we did five runs and Brad put the best two runs on the paper dyno report here. You guys can see run number one and three and oddly enough, the first dyno pull was the best one out of the day. So with that being said, this is what you guys are interested in. The truck made 322 horsepower at 6,100 RPM. You know, these five liter Coyote V8 engines really perform well at a higher RPM. So when you get a lot of guys switching over to Ford that are either coming from the Dodge Rams with the Hemis or they're coming from the Chevys with the 6.2 liter V8s, they might say that the five liter V8s in the Fords don't really perform all that well. But the one big thing is these engines like RPM and the higher the RPM, the more power they tend to make. Once again, I just wanted to make it clear that my truck does not have a tune to alter the fueling, the ignition, or the phasing of the cams. One of the best ways to get more power out of these engines without doing pretty much any bolt-on parts is to get a tune so that you can increase the RPM of these engines. And once these things go past 7,000 RPM, well, the horsepower just keeps climbing. And if we look over here at the max torque, you guys are gonna see 294 pound-feet of torque at 4850. So once again, these engines aren't making a lot of torque at a lower RPM. You really got to start to rev these things out to get the benefit of that five liter V8. If you guys are looking for more low end torque in an F-150, consider getting the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, which has a twin turbo, or the smaller 2.7 liter EcoBoost, which is also twin turbo. They tend to make more low end torque. They're also great for towing, but you're not gonna notice any real fuel economy savings when switching over to the EcoBoost. So you might as well get a five liter because they just sound cooler. Also, I just wanted to add in that the rear gear of this truck is a 355. Had I have been towing heavier trailers, I probably would have chosen the 373 gear, which would have increased my towing capacity, made it much easier to accelerate when towing a larger, heavier trailer. However, it would have also negatively affected fuel economy, and I really didn't need it because zero turn lawnmowers are pretty much the heaviest thing that I tow. If you guys are gonna be looking at supercharging one of these engines, because the RPM is going to be going much higher, you wanna start looking at a lower gear, something like a 331. That gear works excellent on boosted applications on these F-150s with the 10R80 10 speed transmission. And apart from all of that, the only other thing that I did wanna mention is that 
because this truck is not tuned, it still has the factory speed limiter, which is going to be an issue when you're trying to dyno these trucks. You can't go into like a fifth or a sixth gear because what happens is once you start raising that RPM, the speed of the wheels also increases and the factory speed limiter pretty much shuts down the truck. So that's why you saw these much shorter pulls on the dyno because we were doing these pulls, I believe in either third or fourth gear to avoid hitting that speed limiter. But all in all, guys, I'm more than pleased with the results of this dyno. 322 horsepower and 294 pound-feet of torque at the wheel. This truck is a little rocket ship. All aluminum body, even though it has the 4x4, I think this truck only weighs in at around 4,700 pounds, which isn't bad. If it was two-wheel drive, it would be even lighter. These things are quick, they sound great with the 5 liter, and they look cool. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Just a quick one, but I've been looking forward to posting this video in case any of you were wondering how much power one of these trucks puts down to the ground. If you want to see any of the videos from any of the modifications that I've done to the truck, including the k and intake or the MBRP exhaust, you guys can click in the links in the description down below. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel for new content, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.